Welcome to Megger's video training series. In this video, I will present system configuration choices for the SMRT46 relay test set. The configuration button is the two gear cogs near the upper left corner of the home screen. The default configuration is four voltages and three currents. Note that the fourth voltage is also the battery simulator and is located on the front of the test set. Another popular configuration is four voltages and two currents. Notice that current channels one and two are connected in parallel at the relay to provide a single current source of 120 amps. If you need higher current, you may select four voltages and one current of 180 amps. This requires all three amplifiers to be connected in parallel at the relay. When testing transformer differential relays, you may need six current channels. This converts all three voltage channels to currents. Notice that the primary current channels make up currents one, two, and three, while the converted voltage channels make up currents four, five, and six. If you require more flexibility, you may use advanced mode to specify the number of voltage channels to convert. You can now see that voltage one was converted to current four. To use the battery simulator, choose one of the nominal battery voltages or type in any number up to 250 volts. Then select last voltage as battery enabled. When you return to the home screen, you will see the battery icon has appeared. Click the icon to turn on the battery simulator. Output configurations, the deviation alarm. A deviation alarm means a voltage or current amplifier is not generating the commanded values. There are many reasons for a deviation alarm. However, the most common is either an open circuit current or a shorted voltage. Standard current versus high burden mode. High burden mode raises the compliance voltage at lower current when testing high impedance relays. Default frequency determines the default frequency in any test plan. Auto frequency detects the frequency of the power source. You may select any frequency listed or you may choose line sync. Line sync will cause a zero phase angle command to be in phase with the power source. Change state immediately causes any command received by an amplifier to be executed in the same clock pulse in which it is received. Change states on zero crossing causes each amplifier to hold commands and buffer until the next positive going zero crossing of that amplifier. Change state on master zero causes each amplifier to execute all commands on the next zero crossing of the master channel or channel one. Zero crossing choices may be required when testing very sensitive under and over frequency functions of a relay. Chain state immediately is a recommended setting for most testing. Display version provides important information such as installed firmware and software versions. When calling for support, it is likely you will be asked to provide this information. You may be asked to send a photo or screen capture of the information to the person assisting you. This concludes part one of SMRT system configuration. Thank you for watching this video.